And I think I was destined to write it ever since I went to my prep school on the 814 from Orpington every day. I saw all the men in their pinstripe suits. A sitcom about a man on the verge of a nervous breakdown might not appear to be a surefire rib tickler. But this classic series succeeded in making its lead character a hero for millions of commuter belt executives. I do think that when you actually watch that show, you think this is an amazing examination of what must go through everyone's minds. I mean, it still happens now, obviously, that moment where you're just sitting in an office or wherever your workplace may be, and you think, is that it? Morning, Jim. Morning, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minutes late, defective junction box, New Malden. Throughout the six episodes, you'd have shots of Reggie walking to work, and then they'd start to change and they'd start to screw with their own rhythm. 11 minutes late, overheated axle at Berrylands. Take a letter, would you? You get a lot of kind of running gags and sketch shows now, but to see it work in the basis of a sitcom about somebody's mundane life is fantastic. Mr. Perry. 11 minutes late, somebody had stolen the lines at Soberton. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll clear my desk, Joan. Good idea. That shouldn't take long. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> uh, to me, it's really life-affirming. It's a man having a nervous breakdown, but it's very joyful. It's kind of like when you don't care anymore because you're mad, everything falls into place for him. The situation, the tension, the tragedy, if you like, is what's funny. The desperation. I mean, it's a comedy in which, at the end of every episode, a man screams. <laughs> Along with The Young Ones, which I know came afterwards, but it's just one of those shows where it, it went beyond conventional sitcom in terms of its use of inserts. You know, don't you, that we're going to see Mother tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. it's not the sort of thing that slips one's mind. That was a great thing to just throw in, because the sitcom is about, in a way, about insanity, really. But the big question was, of course, who was mad? Reggie or the repetitious routine slaves that surrounded him? I didn't get where I am today without learning how to compromise. <laughs> Bit of a cock up on the catering front. Great! Super! Bit of a cock up on the catering front. I didn't get where I am today biting people in the changing room. It is a great catchphrase. It's everybody has a catchphrase. And yet it's still meaningful because these are the kind of people that would say the same stuff all the time. Great! Super, CJ. It's a satire on business. It's way ahead of the office as well. It was a satire on business and the kind of stupid things that people in middle management will say. No longer is it punk and the young ones. Now we realise what really speaks to us is something about the failure of society to give us anything whatsoever. 